I've laid around and played around this old town too long. Summer almost gone, yes, the winter's coming on. All right, we just finished uh, 65 miles, four and a half days. There was rain, there was sun, there was slips, trips, falls, there was laughs. There's some incredible views. It's kind of fitting that there's a thunderstorm because we even had one of those. We'd sure appreciate if you'd uh, join along, like, subscribe, join in, comment, do all that fun stuff on YouTube. If you want to learn a little bit about the Northville Placid Trail, at least the last 65 miles of it, stay tuned. We're going to put this up in uh, probably four or five parts or so. Join along. It was one hell of a journey. This is where we camped last night. We're just getting ready to pack up. I've got my stuff done. My buddy's finishing his stuff. And then we're going to have a quick cup of coffee a Pop-Tart, and then get heading out there. That's what the skies look like. Let's get going. All right, seven o'clock, Friday morning. We got 16 miles to O'Neill, lean-to, Northville Placid Trail. I got my buddy Woobsy here. Uh, Rob wanted to try something. It's gonna be a great day on the trail. I don't know if you can see it, but there's about 450 million black flies surrounding us. We gotta roll. So this, uh, this year marks the 90th anniversary of the Northville Placid Trail. The section we're on was a reroute a number of years ago. It used to be a seven mile road walk. And now it uses a bunch of old logging roads and some new trail roads. And then also this year, they're opening up a new section that goes from Northville to Upper Benson, which again, used to be a road walk. I believe June 7th is when the, that trail is gonna officially open. So, I can tell you one thing, it's a lot nicer to be in the woods walking than on the road walking. I can guarantee, I can guarantee that. Wild man, let it go. Wild man, let it be. There's a great big fish off the full brow. Can't you see? Set that highbrow down. Go whine about our heart. There's a whole lot more getting going on than a set at this bar. Well, you sure got yourself worked up. It's about uh, 10 minutes to nine, about 59 degrees. As long as you're moving, the black flies aren't too bad. Stop moving for more than 18.2 seconds, the black flies will come get you. This is the new reroute section we were telling you about earlier. It's unbelievable, it's real pretty woods you're walking through and because it's not that old, the, the ground is real soft to walk on and the view's real pretty. Take a look at this. 
360 degrees of peace and quiet. <laughs> That's a big rock. <laughs> Would you do me a favor and move that a little bit? <laughs> About the last five minutes, we've been listening to what's behind us right now. Uh, it looks like we're heading down right towards it. So uh, it's time to take me to the river. about 10 more miles to do today, 10 or 11 more miles. That's it, we ever decide to leave here. Just another day, New York City Blue. Right around a rock. Man down! We got a man down here! Alright. It is 10 minutes after 11. Uh, we think that from where we started, Stevens Pond Lean To is about 9.5 miles. So we've been just about 9 miles so far this morning. Made a pretty good pace. Actually, I can tell you. We've been 8.5 miles. Weekly Dam, that's where we started. So 8.5 miles. So our goal right now is we're going to try to get the next half a mile, six tenths, get up to Stevens Pond, get some lunch, get some water. After a little bit of a break, we're going to continue on. We've got about five and a half miles left. We're going to try to get to O'Neill uh, Lean To, which would get us right at 16 miles for the first day. That's where we wanted to get. Uh, Ed, what do you think about this so far? Fantastic. You having fun? Great trip. <laughs> Ed has a lot to say normally. That's about it, Rob. 11.30 on the button. Stevens Pond lean to, like we said, about nine miles in so far, or so far. Bad at math. Uh, it's a 16 mile day. If you travel nine miles so far, you have seven left. I'm not sure what kind of funny math I was using back there at that last signpost. You want to come to the Adirondacks in the uh, middle of end of May, go on a hike. You got to eat your food underneath a bug net. <laughs> <laughs> Tuna fish and black flies, that's what's for dinner. Just finished up lunch here at Stevens Pond Lean To. Back in February, I contacted a, another member on hammock forums that, that knows how to do some sewing and stuff. And uh, I had seen the thread about jerry chairs, and I asked for two of them one for myself and one for my buddy. And so I didn't let him know until just now. And so right now, um, we're debating whether or not we're just going to sit here with our backs up against the jerry chairs for the rest of the afternoon, if we're actually going to finish out the rest of the seven miles. But uh, for anybody that hasn't seen these, they weigh about two ounces. You use your hiking poles as a back support, and I'll show you right now what they look like. Just your hiking poles go in, a crisscross provides a support. And then you sit 
One thing that we didn't share yet about this lean-to in this area, last fall there was a female hiker all by herself and there had become a, a mother and two cub bears that had become very comfortable around humans and uh, enjoying all the mess that was left behind and the mother bear actually got as close to her so that she actually stabbed at the bear with this little two or three inch knife that she was carrying and the bears kind of scattered and then it's about three miles to the next significant area it's called Lake Durant she actually ran the rest of the trail there they tested the knife and the blood on the knife and sure enough it was a bear um, if you google you know Northville Placid Trail uh, bear attack or women woman stabs bear you'll be able to read a little bit about it but this is uh, in the area this is right here where it happened so uh, Ed how do you feel about bears? No problem. Why? My bear spray. <laughs> he's got bear. He's got bear spray. Which I'll spray on you. <laughs> he, he said that the bear spray lasts for about five seconds. He says he's going to spray me for five seconds and go in the other direction. So, I don't like bears. I'll tell you that right now. There's a black fly crawling all over the lens. All right, we're going to get packed back up. Get back on the trail. We got seven miles left. Let's get up. Get going. Get to work. It's about one o'clock about 58 degrees got a little bit cooler I just remembered to set my spot into tracking mode so from 1 o'clock on for anybody watching that it's gonna look a lot different than it looks right now for my wife and my buddy's wife if you've looked on it and you haven't seen much movement we were okay it's just uh, operator air my fault. Moonbeams through headlights. Big blow over. over back rows, trumpet low on the stereo. Nights are cold now, and those pistons moan now. And the late five home goes still in the chill. Well, it makes me reminisce. Boy, this section from Stevens Pond in the Lake Durant's real nice. The trail's in incredible shape. The people that do the trail maintenance on that we met at the lean to have this trail in great shape. Hey, Ed, come here. See me? Yeah, me. Come here. Come here. How you doing? I'm doing. <laughs> what a pretty, pretty flower. What another pretty, pretty flower. That ain't so pretty. That ain't so pretty. <laughs> it looks like white deer hair. More hair. There. There and there. Ed? Yeah? You don't think that bear ate that hair? Do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's one thing they ask you to do on all the trail registers is go ahead and sign in at each one that way if in the event something happens they can see where you've been and where you haven't been and narrow it down you know in case a bear gets you a bear Ooh. <laughs> we just came out to Lake Durant campground this little sign that shows some of the damage that happened a pretty picture. Some of the animals. There's the a picture of that mountain I just showed you. And then here's some more from a storm that happened in 2011. You couldn't even recognize site number 35. We just crossed Route 28. Heading to O'Neill. O'Neill is 3.3 away. We have had our first little mishap of the trip. Whoopsie, my buddy, got his nickname two years ago on the trail. Because in the first three or four miles, whoopsie, he went down. And uh, there's been no slips, trips, and falls until uh, 
about a mile ago. Slipped on a rock, went down. So, whoopsie and whoopsie too now. We gotta get away from the sound of these trees. I can't take it anymore. We gotta get away from the sounds of these cars. Too many cars, time to get away from the cars. Please register. Like black cold lips that part so slyly clementine. Once a traveler in the shadow, once your heart was mine. Left town early one June morning, larks were in the sky. But no one saw you pack them things and leave it all behind. Train from Old John Station, sailed a ship to Spain. Caught between the fork and halo, for they knew your name. You deceived me when you left the sail the moon, the moon. But I wouldn't buy so you did fly real, for the sheets were cold. Those land has mountains high deep sea. Well, O'Neill, lean to. And 16 miles later, we're here. For both of us, 16 miles is the longest we've ever done. I'd say what, about the last two hours or so? It was off and on rain. Yeah. Picked up heavy the last little bit. Glad to be at the O'Neill lean to, I can tell you that much. <laughs> We're going to see if it lets up a little bit. It's coming down pretty good. Get some food going, get our place set up. Lots of trees here. It's real pretty. Had to cross a real neat bridge to get here. We'll show you all that when it's not raining. Day number one, 16 miles in the books. Okay, here's the setup. This is mine. So Wilderness Logics. Tadpole tarp. Up underneath there, you've got my hammock netty with an under quilt and top quilt from Adam and Jenny at hammock gear and the whole team at hammock gear get the pole mod going up over top my flag bag and there's my door <coughs> Ed has got the big mamba jamba tarp I'm pretty sure you could park a school bus underneath that thing with the uh, pole mod in it. And it also has hammock gear, top quilt and under quilt, and the bug net. And uh, his is an Eno, Eno double nest with the Eno slap straps. Shock cord tensioners. <clears throat> We're gonna get a night that'll be a little bit nicer. We'll do a, we'll do a longer, more in detail analysis of what we got here but in general that's it that's what we got plenty of room I'm in the flying V anybody watch anybody watch the uh, anybody watch the movie Mighty Ducks that's the flying V I like kind of like doing that pull mod <laughs> that way no matter which end I want to look out I can look out and or excuse me I kind of do the double porch mode on one end that way I can look out and see anything that I want to see out either feed ends. I've got the uh, Dottie's chicken and dumpling for dinner coming tonight. And what do you got? Gumbo. Mumbo jumbo gumbo? That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, great day on the trail. We were just talking about it. Both of us personal high records. Um, Ed went down and got the water. So when he went down to the water, he said there was something pretty good to see. So uh, we'll take a walk down here in a little bit.
O'Neill Pond. Look at that. See the low, low clouds, low fog. Woo! <laughs> hey! Now what Ed would say is, why'd you have to go and yell and ruin the nice moment? Exactly. <laughs> little, have a little cocoa. Have a little coffee. Enjoying this view. To everybody that's been following along on hammock forums, at 6 o'clock or whatever time it is right now, about 6 o'clock on Friday night, this is the view. All right, packet gourmet, Dottie's chicken and dumplings. We we started this morning. We jumped up out of bed. We hit the trail. We were flying down that trail. We were energetic. We were both 18 years old again. We just finished up dinner and putzed around with some chores and both talking about going to bed. I went over and looked and see what time it was. It's, it's 6 30. <laughs> the Northville Placid Trail will take 50 years off your life in one day. <laughs> That's too funny. Having the uh Post day hike cigar, doing a JR Ultimate, just a Connecticut wrapper cigar. Ed's checking out our trip for tomorrow. He said at seven miles we're going to be at the high point of the trail. And that's where we're going to sit down and have lunch. At the highest point of the trail, up on top of Blue Mountain Ridge, it's called. That's right. Ed, what do you have to say? Tell the folks something. Tell them about your hike. Tell them about the hike tomorrow. Tell them, tell them what we're doing. We're going to go to the height of the land, and then we're going to go down from the height of the land. 14 miles. <laughs> <laughs> we're going. So, so, if that doesn't get you excited to continue watching the rest of this video, nothing will. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. As Ed wound up excited for tomorrow. We're going up, you said? Up. <laughs> so this is uh, night one of the actual trip in the hammock, but second second night because we stayed at the trailhead. 8 o'clock, it's about 54 degrees, light rain. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Great day. Tomorrow morning, get up, get going, get to work. Appreciate everybody watching so far. It's been uh, been a heck of a trip, and it's still early in the trip. Hey, boy. Yeah. See you in the morning. See you in the morning, boy.